Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, this is Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and we are back today in the suspended mountain base, the steampunk mountain base, and uh, we are, we have some things to look at today. I was overwhelmed with the amazingness of some of the builds that I've seen in the workshop. I haven't even spawned any of those in. I just saw the thumbnails in the workshop, and I was like, people are really making some crazy things. Like, I'm almost speechless. But um, to recap a little bit of what happened last time, if you missed it, was we added these stairs in that give a catwalk going around out over here. We added that clock in on top of the theater, and we added these two areas in here, which based on your feedback, I'm going to make a slight change, and we'll get into that in a little bit. But last episode, I said I wanted a theater sign for the theater. So I've seen a couple of people have made theater signs, and that means that I'm, I, I, I'm stuck with the task of trying to choose which one to use, but I think I want to make this more of, since this is a community build, I want to make this more of a community project as well and what goes into it. So we're going to take a look at some of the theater signs and then I'm going to narrow it down to my top two or three picks maybe. And then I'm going to leave a vote for you guys to choose which one do you want the most to add to the theater. So let's go ahead and hop down here and oh no, no, no. Okay, I got it. Let's go ahead and hop down here and uh, hopefully we'll get some more frames and oh, I forgot to fix the bridge. All right, we'll be doing that. We'll be doing that in the meantime in between episodes. All right, well, there's not that many more frames down here. But let's see what we can spawn in. And I realized that um, I actually get like 60 frames per second when I'm not recording. But as soon as I start recording on this map, I drop down to like 20. So hopefully it's not going to get too much worse too quickly, but we'll find out. Okay, so first up in the running is this awesome theater sign by Koha. So by the looks of it, I don't think there's any moving parts or anything. So I think on the lift, it should look exactly the way it would look normally. So it's got these cool light fixtures underneath it as well. And pointing up at the actual theater letters, it has a really cool kind of using the I-beam pieces in combination with some other pieces. It has that really asymmetrical kind of steampunky randomness to it. And he also uses the the light blocks with the redness, which kind of matches the, the aesthetic of the inside of the theater. So that's pretty cool. So there is number one. We're just going to leave that out here. All right, we got another theater sign here by Nico. So this theater sign actually does have, ooh, look at that. Look at how the, the camera actually has like a, like a, it's projecting uh, the light flickering inside as the film goes through it. So it has that cool interactive effect there. Uh, he did say it was a lag free one pretty much. So that it's not really like a moving part. It's just a blinking part, which is pretty cool. So very, very simplistic with the theater there. It even has like a theater number on the top as well. Um, very nice with the T kind of giving the line over there. It's got some, some text, some text style to it. Text style. Text style. <laughs> is what I meant. Um, not sure what, is that the weld point? Is that how I'm, where I'm supposed to weld it? But, uh, this I'm going to say is number two. We're going to go ahead and put that over here. All right, and we got this one by Eziromson. Center point is the red block. Okay, let's see what it looks like. It looks like the A is going to form after I spawn it in. Ready? Boop! <laughs> So this is a pretty cool theater uh, text. Hey, let's get the bridge shadow out of the way here. There we go. Oh, look, and we have, even have the uh, the Scrapman wheel covers in the R over there. And look at the way that the pipes kind of go into the wall and peek out with the valve uh, handles. That's pretty cool. And we got the mug. We got some like little random pieces. A duck in the A. That's pretty clever. So there's little Easter eggs in this one as well. I like that. Anything of note on the back? Nope, there's the weld point with the red right there. All right, I like this. I like this a lot. So we got three now. Um, I'm not going to designate numbers to them for now because I don't know what order I'm going to be putting them in yet. But after I after I have them all spawned in, um, I'm going to narrow it down to maximum five, maybe two or three. I don't know. All right, the next one we're going to look at is by Lucas. Theater sign made by Lucky Lucas 08. All right, so this is the one by Lucas. It's got a center. Does the center do something? Nope, it's not hooked up into anything. Okay, no, no, no sensor stuff. All right, what's the switch do? Ready? Eh. All right, switch is not connected to anything. Well, oh, okay. I don't know what I just did, but I did that thing, and now it's like automatic. I don't know if that's supposed to be happening, but I think that's all that is hooked in. It looks like all of these, um, the weird angles and stuff are intentional. So those are stylistic choices that are pretty cool. And he also went a similar kind of route to the first one that we looked at over there with the I-beam pieces, but instead of using some of the other in-between pieces, he used these curved blocks, the curved I-beams, which also looks pretty cool. 
So that is uh, the fourth one that we've looked at so far. Let's see, how many more do we have? All right, we got two more to look at. So this is by Class J. Muller. All right, here we go. It's a logic gate based theater. So there must be a switch on it somewhere. Let's see what we got going back here. We turn this on. All right. And there we go. It's a uh, kind of like a, a, a marquee, a theater marquee. And we've even got the Scrapman gears over here doing their thing, which is pretty cool. All right, so that is theater number five-ish. All right, this is by Bill S. Preston Esquire. I think that's what that stands for, Esquire. So this one, it seems like he went for minimalism here. They're very, very simplistic, very, uh, no, no, gonna be no moving parts, no bearings or anything, but also steampunky with the pipe kind of build. And also that adds for a very interesting font. And the R is very interestingly done as well. So it's it, it ha like, despite it being way smaller and way simpler than everything else, I kind of like that it has its own character to it that, um, that because of these pipe pieces and the way that they're all organized. And it's kind of cool how he, how we added all that in there. So I'm actually going to wait one, two, three, four, five, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we're gonna have to definitely narrow it down um, to, I'm gonna choose my my top three, and then I'm going to leave it to you on which of those top three gets actually put into the base. Okay, so here are my top three picks. And the reason why I picked these ones is because they all had a very stark difference between each other. Um, some of them were similar. So between like the similar ones, I choose which one I would prefer out of the similar ones. But these all have very different styles so that we have this very kind of almost chaotic steampunky with um, asymmetry with all the weird pipes going through and everything and the little Easter egg on it which is really really cool so i like the kind of almost seeming randomness of it and it's also very large and in your face too very clearly says theater right to you um this one is more low-key and kind of classic i feel like it has the classic like movie camera thing over there this one makes me feel like more of like i'm on a studio lot and this is like really for filmography and things like that and then this one is just minimalism simple clean just you don't really need much more so it has that in and of itself could be really interesting for some people um compared to the more busy ones so that i wanted to leave that one in there as well to see what what styles what kind of tastes are you guys gonna have so there's gonna be a poll popping up in the top right corner of the screen very very soon and i'm going to give you three choices number one is the busy one with easter eggs number two is the classic one with the film uh camera number three is the minimalistic one. So you're gonna cast your vote. Do you want the busy one? Do you want the classic one? Or do you want the minimalist one? Leave your votes now, and in the next episode, we'll see which one is the winner, and we'll go ahead and add it to the base. Okay, so up next, we're gonna make a slight change, actually a pretty major change, um, to what we added last episode. And then after that, we're gonna take a look at some random creations that may or may not be added to the base, just so I can put your guys' work out there for people to see, because some of this stuff is really, really awesome. And whether or not we have room for it in the base, I still want it to be shown to people. But, uh, so last episode, we added these food areas onto this level here. We got this area over here, and we've got this area over here. And some of you were saying that what I should have done was put them next to each other so that they could actually work together. Because this is kind of like a, a, a lounge eating area, and this is kind of like a cafeteria. So it would be nice if we had an easy transition from cafeteria to lounge. So what I'm thinking about doing is I'm going to move the lounge, just move this entire thing from over here and put it right next to this thing here. And that way we can break the wall in between them and we can just make this side right here open right up into the lounge area. So that way they kind of work together as almost one building. It's gonna be interesting what happens with the windows once we do this. I don't know how this is gonna go. It might interfere with this window, unfortunately. I don't know. We're just going to roll with it. We're just going to see what happens and improvise our way through it. But first, I have to disconnect this thing. This is going to be a little bit nerve-wracking. I'm going to have to try to catch it as it falls. All right, we have one block, a singular block, holding this up here. And if this falls, if I do not catch this, is it going to hit the bridge? Okay, I think at least it looks like it's going to barely miss that bridge. So we shouldn't have to worry about that. All right, here we go in three, two, one. Huh! Nailed it. Okay, that was actually, that wasn't too bad at all. This corner to this corner. Okay, let's see, uh, let's see how this works now. Ooh, that's not, it's exactly what I was worried about. This is exactly 
what I was worried about. Yeah, the whole window is there. You know, I should have put it out further. I made a mistake. I just, I, we got to redo this. There we go. It is welded. So now, all we have to do is just cut it out. Right? There we go. We cut that out. We can cut this out. All right. So I think this is, this is kind of nice. I, we just got to make some adjustments to the glass here. There we go. Just like that. So now the glass kind of curves around through here. So now... We have an open access between the lounge area and the cafe area. And you know what? Let's paint over let's paint over this uh these words that we've been leaving here for whatever reason. Okay. <laughs> so it's my first time seeing the back of it. So um there's the door. So we have all this space behind this cafe or this lounge to um I don't know. I don't know. What should we put back here? Should we just put open area? I don't know what to do with all this. Let's just make a walkway at least that goes over there. Let's see. Let's line ourselves up. All right, there we go. So now we can actually walk into the entrance of this place and see how it leads into over here. Got a nice view out to the uh, the elevator system that we've got over there. And now let's take a bird's eye view from the outside and see what it looks like. All right, and there we go. We have the two things. I mean, the windows aren't quite even, but two different people built two different, two completely different things with a similar concept. Of course, it's not going to be perfect, but. I think it kind of works. I think I kind of like how it goes. So let's get a little bit of a higher view here. Oh, and I like that that steampunk, uh, d just singular steampunk decoration on the side actually works really, really well. So we're definitely gonna have to add more of that just all over the uh, empty walls that we have on the outsides of all these things, especially probably over in this back area here. Yeah, like that wall could have a lot of decorations on it. All the walls underneath and stuff needs a lot of work. We need to fill in all that stuff. So that's something that we can definitely look forward to is um, just wall decorations that add for the steampunk atmosphere. We're just going to fall down here and see what else you guys have come up with in the meantime. Maybe we'll find something new to add for this episode. All right, so I feel a little bit bad. This thing looks epic, but he says place this in between the, the Gamer X. Sorry, dude. He says place this in between the lounge and canteen, which we just completely reorganized the lounge and canteen and how they were placed. But if this isn't too laggy, Maybe we can find a better spot for it. So let's let's take a look. Let's spawn this in. This thing looks absolutely huge. We're probably gonna have to weld it down. Um, ooh, look at this. Look at this entrance here. Oh, I already I already like it. All right, let's take a look at the steampunk warehouse by the Gamer X. Whoa, this looks pretty legit. Oh, this is just an exit. Okay. All right. Interesting. What's this do? that turn on the lights? I think that turns on the lights. Yep, that turns on the lights. Okay, lights. Music. We don't want music. We don't want music. I have my own music. All right, so let's take a look around, see what we have here. Because I think um, warehouse and storage, I think, can be its own whole section. And this looks amazing so far. There's, like, all these different storage things. So I think we, like, maybe, like, the bottom of the base, we can have it go down below and then taper out to all this, like, storage stuff. Because I think, when I think storage, I think of, like, basements like underground but we're in the air so under the base in the air less altitude you know what i mean all right so let's take a look at what kind of supplies we'd be having imagine this is survival mode now imagine we're in survival mode and uh this is the warehouse that we'd have to work oh look at this we even got like windows like a windshield workshop and windows and stuff all kinds of cool supplies all right let's go down here we got exit signs we got toilets like we got sensors and pistons this is like everything we got thrusters, just all spare parts, all spare supplies that we could use. Can't can't have enough ducks. We got even an empty shelf because why not? I uh, got some boxes, air conditioner, uh, some vent pieces, another empty shelf, some cones, engines, suspension. Got a, a a bathtub. Why not just have a spare bathtub laying around? Toilet paper, pipes. We got some tote block heads, barrels, buttons, and mugs <laughs> of shark because why not? Some pillows boots more pillows uh antenna some some scrap man logos some more antenna stuff all right this is really cool and look at look at the way he has the lights situated he's got like the the pipe or the the cable pieces going in between the lights and he's also got another one of those curved windows but i don't think storage belongs on the second floor i think storage belongs below the base so that big wooden section like right 
there, that square, is going to be completely replaced, because that's where we were trying to put the garage, but it just didn't work. That's going to be completely replaced with something new, which will be all storage-based stuff. But we're going to get to that later. I want to start building. I want to keep building up for now. So this was really awesome. So much detail. Oh, and I just noticed, like, the that vent piece right there is pretty cool as well. Well, thanks so much for that creation. I'm glad we got to show it off. And I'm really sorry that we changed your plan for that design. But I definitely want to put this in um, in the basement. So let's see, what else are we going to be looking at today? Okay, I have to give a shout out to this one. I don't know if I'm going to be, how much of this I might, may or may not use. But the idea of this is super cool. And I want you guys to be aware of it. Because it's something that you could have your own fun with. Um, this is by creator, The Gamer Is Real. This is a make your own cafe or restaurant. It's, he's given us the pieces and we can organize it weld it, do whatever we want to make our own cafe. All right, so let's take a look around, see what we got here. Look at this, look at these windows. He has two of them. Two of these uh, curved window, not curved, but angled window pieces, which is really awesome. He's got these things here. Looks like more windows. We got pillars. So if we just delete, if we just delete the ground here, this caution block is usually like the delete this block. Um... We can just get all of these pieces and put them wherever we want. Look at all this stuff. We got walls. Is this just more walls? Looks like we got more walls. We can just delete these caution blocks. This is really cool. All these different tables. Doors. Oh, wait. Is this a special... Oh, interesting. Interesting table design using the doors like that. It's like a double table thing. Got some boxes. We got some high chairs that match these tables. So those chairs are designed to go with these tables. That's pretty cool. We got some walls with some interesting de decorative steampunky stuff on it. Let's see what else we got here. We got a lot of chairs. We got a bar section over here. So yeah, if you guys want to try to build your own cafe using some of these pieces, you know what it's called now. Go ahead and search for it in the workshop and you have your own, uh, your own just collection of parts to use. So I just thought that was really cool and whether or not we specifically use these parts, um, I will at least wanted to show it off in case some of you guys wanted to use it. So thanks a lot for that build. Ooh, so this is interesting. So now I'm thinking maybe greenhouse, a greenhouse might work with the food floor because it'd be, if you're going to be getting food from the greenhouse, having it on the same floor might be nice. You can see where your food's coming from. I don't know. So let's take a look at this. This is by Small Danish, greenhouse made for scrap man. The red and blue lights are called grow lights. They are used in some greenhouses to boost plant growth. Interesting. Plants only need red and blue, mostly red. Did not know that. All right, let's take a look at what's inside. I love it. I like the window, all the window stuff. Window stuff is very nice. Lots of plants in here. Look at all that. Wait, can we turn the lights on? Is there a light switch to turn those lights on? We got some AC, got some temperature control. There we go. There we go. Now the lights are on. All right. I feel very, it's very like calm and relaxing in here. Got the red and, red and blue lights. All these plants growing over here. Looks like this is the irrigation, like water system. All right. This is really cool. I kind of want to see if we can fit this in that open space. So, uh, let's try to, let's try to figure that out. Oh, look at this. Is that what I think it is? Is that... Oh, look at the attention to detail there. Here's the air conditioner, and he has the vent actually sticking out. That is pretty cool. All right, so I want to see if I can actually add this next to the food areas. All right, so if that's the entrance, we could maybe put the entrance right here. All right, so here's the plan. Taking this. Ah, don't fall, 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 don't fall. All right, we're taking this, and we are welding it right up here. I know this might seem weird, but trust me. You're right. All right, we've got it. Now let's take a look at what we're dealing with. So now we just need to make a staircase that goes up to there. That is doable. Let's see how the door opens. Door opens inside. Oh, thank you for opening inside. That makes things so much easier. All right, so now I am carving in the shape of the staircase right here. There we go. So now we know where the staircase would begin to get up there. And let's see, hopefully this will come back down to where we need it to go as well. Oops, uh, that will not work. All right, here we go. Please fit. It looks like it's going to fit. Barely fits. Just barely fits. So we can still just go out to there and then get on the stairs. Okay, now we just got to add the actual stairs in. All right, and I'm going to see if I can use these. Will this make any sense? If I do a little bit of this. I think that works. What do you guys think? 
All right, and there's a railing on this side. So then we have the ability to go up here, and then we can have, we can even have this kind of like peek out a little bit. A little bit of an overhang up there. So I'm actually gonna reverse these doors to go to the inside. Does that work? All right, that works, good. But I think that makes a little bit more sense for the way that this is gonna work. So you go inside to the lounge. All right, and here it is. I've added actually an open area so we can actually have like a bottom floor with some additional things. I don't know where or what, but let's take a look at it from a little bit of a distance first. So we got the greenhouse kind of going up like that. So you can go ahead and walk up into the greenhouse. Let's see what the view is like from the greenhouse. We can see over the top of here. We can see, ooh, you know what? How about solar panels? Does that fit the steampunk? I don't know. Can we use solar panels in steampunk? Does that make any sense? Probably not. But I feel like this big open area on, on the top of the uh, food places should be like solar panels. Or what should we put on top of these areas? It's big and open, but uh, we don't want to block the sun from accessing the greenhouse. So here, let's uh, let's get up in the drone and see what this now looks like from afar. All right, this is actually looking pretty cool. I'm kind of liking it. Let's do a nice pan around here. So we can actually probably... Hmm. I'm thinking the back of the greenhouse might lead to more food storage areas. So I think above... I guess it might be a little bit weird to be above rather than below, but above the uh, food areas, we can have some food storage stuff. Although there is that satellite, but we don't need the satellite there. We could probably replace it or we could just work around it. I don't know, but I think I kind of like this addition. So I'm glad we added this. Okay, just out of curiosity, I typed in to see if there were other greenhouse or plant-based stuff, and I found a plant lab by the Gamer X. So let's check out what this thing is all about and see if we can... um. Do something with it that we can add maybe to the greenhouse? I don't know. So let's look at the outside first. We got a plant growing, got some stuff growing out of the wall. Danger sign above it. We got some nice weeds coming down there. Those are pretty, pretty nice touch. What is wrong with this door? That's kind of cool. There's like an overgrown plant lab. What, what happens if we press the button? Is this supposed to be broken? Do you hear the set? There's like little electricity zaps too. Listen. Yeah, you hear the electricity zaps? Huh. What did that do? Oh, it spins the light up there. Interesting. We have a spinning light. That turns the light on. Whoa, we have a caged plant that is out of control. What's this do? Oh, it turned on ominous spooky lights. Yeah, so I think this is intentional. I think he intentionally has the door look broken. Like this is an abandoned plant lab. I think we can I don't know how to I don't know how to incorporate that. I kind of I'm wondering like I kind of want plant or food stuff to be above on this area right here. So um Let's think about that kind of stuff and uh, give me ideas of what you want to do with the rest of this floor. Uh, we still we we still have this area kind of open, so we could have a bottom floor to the greenhouse, which would be non-plant based stuff. So let me know what you want, what you think could be down here. Um, there's just so many possibilities, and of course we saw all those amazing things in the workshop. So yeah, I think we're going to end the episode here and I don't know where the next episode is going to go yet. That's why I want your comments. Let me know what you think we should be working on for the rest of this floor. We have all this area to work with. We're pretty much unlimited in what we can do with this thing. So, well, we're limited by frame rates. That's it. But uh, other than that, the, the creative possibilities are endless. I'll work on fixing the bridges in the meantime. But until then, we'll see you back in the suspended steampunk mountain base next week. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>